Now in part three, we will talk about the nodal staging. Already I had two lectures regarding the nodal uh, map and nodal staging. You can refer for them for full details. Here we will apply the nodal staging to our right-sided tumor in our male 61 years old right-sided right lower lobe mass centrally located merging with the hilar and intestinal lymph nodes we reach that the mass is small cell lung cancer tumor staging four now let's see what is the nodal staging for our patient let us put some basics simply here to understand our nodal staging which we'll talk about always the station 10 hilar lymph node epsilateral is considered N1. Subcarinal lymph nodes represent always N2, whether the mass is right or left side. So we have tier two facts. Station 10 epsilateral is N1. If it is contralateral, it will be N3. The station seven subcarinal lymph nodes always represent N2, either right or left masses. What about the others? We have here a rule that lymph nodes to the right of the midline of the trachea is considered N2. Lymph nodes to the left of the midline is considered N3 in case of right-sided tumor, except we have only one exception, which is the paratracheal lymph nodes, station two and four. The upper paratracheal lymph nodes above the level of aortic arch, it's supraortic level, and the lower paratracheal lymph nodes is present at the level of aortic arch or below. Right paraortic lymph nodes, paratrache sorry, paratracheal lymph nodes, right side or left sided has another landmark, which is the left lateral wall of the trachea. Other lymph nodes, the landmark is the midline of the trachea. Only the paratracheal lymph nodes has a landmark of left lateral wall. Let's apply this for our case after this, another illustration to fix these ideas. The mass is right side, hilar only, is N1, N2 will be always subcarinal, either left or right side. The hilar lymph node station 10 is N1 if epsilateral, N3 if contralateral. Subcarinal is station 7. The midline of the trachea divides the other mediastinal lymph nodes into right and left. Right, so it will be epsilateral, so it will be N2. N2. To the left of the midline, it will be contralateral, so it will be considered N3, except paratracheal lymph nodes, which are upper paratracheal above the level of aortic arch. It's considered 2R if it is to the right of the left lateral wall, considered 4R for lower paratracheal group if it is to the right of the left lateral wall of the trachea. It will represent N2. If paratracheal lymph nodes is beyond the level of left lateral wall, if paratracheal lymph nodes are shown here beyond the left lateral wall, it will be considered contralateral and N3. Let's apply this for our case. The first lymph node to be shown here is the 3P. Station 3P, representing retrotracheal lymph nodes. As you can see here, obviously, it is to the right of the midline of trachea. So it is considered N2. Here appears for us lymph nodes in the prevascular location, which is group 3A. Obviously, it is to the left of the midline of trachea, so it represents, in our case, right-sided tumor, it will represent N3. We go further down, we have now station 6, paraortic lymph nodes. 
because its location already considered left-sided, so it will be N2 in case of left-sided tumor. For our tumor here in the right side, it will be N3. Apply our rule. The mid, the mark, our landmark is the midline of the trachea. It is to the left in right side tumor. So this is contralateral. So this is N3. Let's go to the subcranial. It's present there, station seven. Now we will go to the exceptional lymph nodes with special landmark, which is the paratracheal lymph nodes. Here above the level of the aortic arch, supraortic level, we have right upper paratracheal lymph nodes, station two right, two R. It's confined to the right side, bounded by the left lateral wall of the trachea, so it is considered N2. Now go further down to the level of aortic arch, so we are at the level of uh, right paratracheal lymph nodes. Also, it's not extending beyond the level of the left lateral wall of the trachea. So we have four R right sided and four for the station four. Hyler lymph nodes, station 10 epsilateral. So this is N1. So the highest N stage staging we reached is N3. So our end staging for the case is N3. These lymph nodes is called regional lymph nodes because in the thorax, we have non-regional lymph nodes. We'll talk about them in the part four, talking about the metastasis staging. So lymphadenopathy here, regional lymph nodes involved in this tumor, we have two R, right upper paratracheal lymph nodes. We have the retrotracheal lymph nodes, 3P. We have the prevascular left-sided 3A prevascular lymph nodes, station 3A, we have 4R, which is the right paratracheal, lower paratracheal lymph nodes, we have station 6, paraortic lymph node, we have station 7, subcarinal, we have the right-sided high lymph nodes, station 10. So N1, represented by the station 10 right-sided high lymph nodes, Station two was represented in our case by the paratracheal lymph nodes, upper and lower, two R and four R, retrotracheal lymph nodes, three P and subcarina lymph nodes. What rendered our case N3 staging is the left sided three A prevascular lymph nodes and para aortic lymph nodes, station six. Thanks for your attention.